and welcome to or back to the yoga corner. I'm Kira, and this is day five of my five days fundamentals of yoga practice series. For some reason, the more times I've said that, the more of a mouthful it has become. I feel like it's the same words, but who knows at this point. But it's all about five days dedicated to appreciating and exploring the fundamental parts of our yoga practice. So for this final practice, as promised in yesterday's video, we're going to be doing a nice, steady and slow unwind practice. Because yoga can be amazing for energizing, it can be amazing for strength and movement and getting busy, but it can also be really, really a perfect way to wind down, relax, and find some stillness. So that is exactly what we are going to be doing in today's practice. So whenever you're ready, I invite you to get some nice comfy clothes on. We're not going to be doing too much heavy movement. So you might like to pop on a jumper or something cozy. I would imagine this will be a really lovely practice to do on an evening time. And then find yourself in a seated meditation position. As always, I've taken a cross-legged position, but if that is at all uncomfortable to you, then feel free to find any other seated position that feels good to you. And once you've gotten comfortable, we're just going to close our eyes for a moment and just allow everything about today to settle into us. Whether you're coming at this on a lunchtime, on a morning, or like I've suggested, on an evening just before bed, I want you to just allow everything that you might be feeling about the day that's just passed, or perhaps the day that you've got ahead of you tomorrow, just to settle in. Notice if you've got anything on your mind, any anxieties, any worries, acknowledge them, allow them to just settle in for a moment, and then just put them to one side. And again, just know that you can come back to them at any point, but try to give yourself these next few moments just for you without anything else to distract you, worry you, or get in the way of your yoga practice. Once you've had a chance to have a little look through what's on your mind, I invite you to take a nice big cleansing breath in through the nose and a big sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> Think about releasing everything with these breaths. So again, we'll take a nice big deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, taking all the good stuff in. And exhale to let everything that doesn't serve you go. <sighs> really nice. We'll take a couple more breaths in silence. Feel free to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth as we just have, or you can take both breaths through the nose, so inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Just do whatever feels best to you. And take three more breaths in, so allowing yourself to settle into this space. Once you've taken that final breath, you might like to just gently blink the eyes open if you had them closed. And then we're gonna just gently rock over and find our hands and knees. Get there however feels best to you. And as always, we just wanna make sure that those wrists are underneath our shoulders and knees are underneath the hips. Spread the fingertips out nice and wide. And we're just gonna take some gentle cat and cows. Inhaling to gently soften the belly. Thinking about this posture as a release at this point of the day. Opening through the chest and softening through the belly. And then as we exhale, we reverse that. Tucking the chin to the chest and opening the back of the body. Rounding through the spine. Inhale, dropping the belly, opening the chest. There's no rush here. Really move as slowly as feels good to you. And exhale, rounding the spine. Really nice. One more time. Inhaling, dropping the belly, lifting the chest. And exhale, we round the spine, chin to chest. Really nice. Exhale, find some stillness. Lovely. We're gonna just gently keep those hips lifted exactly as they are, but we're gonna soften the front of the body, finding our melting heart pose. So whenever you're ready, start to walk the palms forwards. Reach them forwards before doing anything else. Lift through those hips, keeping them exactly as they are. 
and then melt the chest down towards the mat. This might feel like quite an intense stretch for the shoulders, which especially if you've been sitting at a desk all day and you're coming at this from an evening, can be quite a nice release. However you feel in this posture, we're going to pause here for three breaths. Inhaling to lengthen the back of the body. And exhaling to relax through the chest. Inhaling together. Exhaling to release. One more time. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling. And then we'll gently start to bend the elbows and lift the chest, walking those hands back towards the body. Really nice. Coming back to our tabletop position. We're going to keep our pressure through the hands, pushing through the palms. This time we're tucking the toes and peeling the hips to the sky, lifting that chest towards the thighs as the hips lift up to the sky. In this downward dog, as it's probably the evening time and you're trying to relax, just think about bending and softening through the knees, finding some release in this posture. Really nice. Take a big deep breath in. Exhale completely. Look towards the front of the mat and we're going to tiptoe. Even if you feel you can step or even jump up, allow yourself to slow down. Really take your time as you tiptoe the feet up, shifting the weight forwards until you find a forward fold. We're going to take a nice deep bend in the knee in this fold and I invite us all to lift the hands away from the ground and take hold of opposite elbows as we settle into a ragdoll. Gently swaying from side to side. Relaxing as we allow everything to soften. Really nice. Take one more sway to each side. And then as you come back to centre, release the fingertips down towards the mat. Really nice. With an inhale, we'll lift up halfway. Hands find the shins. We've got a nice long spine. And exhale, we soften the chest, forward fold. Inhale to sweep the hands to the sky, lifting nice and tall. And exhale, bring the hands towards the heart center, pausing there at the top of your mat. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, really allow everything to soften and relax. <sighs> Inhale, we reach the fingertips to the sky. And exhale, we hinge down, folding down into our forward fold. Fingertips can stay on the mat. Right foot is going to stay exactly where it is. And we're going to step the left foot back behind us. Gently soften that left knee down to the ground and release the left toes. Really nice. Going to keep that right knee aligned over that right ankle. And then whenever you're ready, you're going to gently bend through that right knee a little further and lift the chest up. Find a nice open stance here as we take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to release that bend and start to straighten the right leg out. The right leg straightens as the hips move back and then the right toes are going to lift away from the ground finding our half split. I want you to try and release the chest down towards that right leg. Hands can come flat on the ground if that feels comfortable or you can stay lifted slightly more. Take a deep breath in and exhale to soften. Inhale, we walk the hands forwards and gently come back to that nice lunge position. We're going to move from this lunge into a pigeon position here. So your right foot is going to start to wiggle its way along the mat. You need to bring it all the way over to the edge and then start to soften that right shin down, trying to bring the shin kind of parallel with the mat. You can wiggle the back foot back slightly to create a bit more space. And then that right heel is going to come towards the left hip crease. We're going to stay seated up for just a moment as we inhale to lengthen the spine. And then whenever you're ready, you're going to exhale, fold the body forwards and create a pillow for the head with your hands. 
and soften into your sleeping pigeon. You might feel a release or a stretch or a sense of intensity on the outside of that right hip. Notice whether you can sit with that sensation. If it feels like pain, then gently just release out of this posture. But if it just feels like a sensation of release, then allow yourself to sit with it for a couple more breaths. Again, this can be a really nice posture to take on after you've spent a day sitting at a desk. With the hips in one position, it can be really nice to stretch them out here. Taking a deep breath in. Full exhale. And then gently coming up onto the elbows, planting the palms on the ground and walking them back towards the body. Really nice. Just release through that foot and we're just going to step that right foot back into a lunge position. Really nice. Tuck the back toes under, lift that back knee away from the ground and then step that left foot up. To meet the right, we'll find another forward fold. Really good. Inhale, we lift up halfway, hands to shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we reach the fingertips up to the sky, lifting tall. And exhale, hands come down to the heart space. Really good. Inhale, we reach the hands to the sky. And exhale, we really gently hinge from the hips and fold it down. Looking towards those feet, left foot stays where it is this time and right foot steps back behind us. We soften the right knee down, release those right toes. We found our low lunge on the left side. Again, start by allowing yourself to sit a little bit more forwards into this low lunge and open through the chest. Really nice, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, we're going to start to peel the hips back, straighten that left leg and lift those left toes away from the ground. Hands can stay on tippy fingers, not tippy toes. And then you can also soften the palms down. Just take whatever feels best for you. Take a nice deep breath in. Relax into this fold, allowing the body to soften. As we embrace this half split, you'll probably feel a really intense stretch on the back of that left leg. So allow that left leg to enjoy the stretch. One more deep breath in. Exhaling completely. And inhaling to walk the fingertips over towards the front of the mat as we bend back into that left knee. Really nice. I'm going to gently wiggle that left foot over to the right side of the mat. We're getting ready for that pigeon pose. Once the left foot has come over, you can bring the left shin down to the ground. Right foot might want to wiggle back slightly. If you have sensitive knees, you might like to put a cushion or a blanket underneath that back knee. And then we're gently just going to walk the chest forwards. We're thinking about creating a pillow for the head with our hands just softening everything down as you release into your sleeping pigeon. Noticing where you feel this stretch most in the body. Sending your breath and your focus in that direction. Allowing everything to open in its own time. We'll take a nice big deep breath in. Exhale to release. Once more, just like that, we inhale together through the nose. And we exhale completely. With our next inhale, palms can come back down to the ground, nice and flat. We lift the chest up away from the ground. We're just gonna tuck those back toes under and we can step the left foot back into a lunge position finding our way back to a low lunge. With those right toes tucked under, we lift the back knee away from the ground and then we step it up to meet the left forward fold. This is our last forward fold here. So really allow yourself to enjoy this last standing fold. Allow the chest to melt down, remembering that bending the knees can help us to find a deeper stretch into this posture. So we don't need to worry about straight legs. Hands can come to the ground, they might come to the backs of the calves, to the feet, wherever feels most comfortable to you. We'll take a nice deep breath in together. 
and a full exhale. And then gently use the hands to stabilize us. We're just gonna lower the knees down. Ooh, nice click in my left knee. And just bring yourself into a seated position on the mat. We want to bring those legs out long ahead of us. Really nice. Now, although that was the last standing forward fold, I'm gonna take a few folds in a seated position because they're just such a lovely way to unwind and release. We'll start by bringing the left foot out slightly at an angle. It might come slightly off your mat and the sole of the right foot is gonna come into the center of that left thigh. We'll inhale together, reaching the hands up to the sky and angle your rib cage towards that extended left leg. Once you do, you can exhale, gently reaching forwards. You want to reach until you feel like you can't go any further, but don't pull through the hamstrings. You just want to reach as far as you can comfortably go and then allow the hands to relax, whether that is onto the thigh, the calf, the ankle or the foot and soften the chest down into this forward fold. Allow the body to relax, taking a deep breath in and using that exhale to find some more release. One more deep breath in this fold. And exhaling completely. And inhaling to lift away from that leg, coming back up to a nice tall seated position. We'll switch things over. Right leg will come out long slightly to the side and the left foot will come to the inside of that right leg. Inhale, reach with the hands up to the sky. As we exhale, we twist the chest, angling the rib cage over that right leg. Deep breath in. Exhale, we reach forward, allowing the chest to lead here, and then soften the hands down wherever they fall naturally, allowing the upper body to relax and soften. Just releasing everything into this fold, taking a deep breath in to lengthen. And a full exhale to soften. Another breath just like that. Exhaling completely. Inhale, we lift the chest up away from the ground. Really nice. Next up, we're going to bring both legs out long ahead of us. We're going to take a forward fold with both legs extended. So pull the toes back towards the body. Keep those legs nice and active. We do not need to have straight legs here. Just like in our standing forward folds, the aim is to bring the chest towards the thighs. So bending the knees can help us to achieve that. However you feel comfortable, I would advise you to start with your bent legs and then if you feel you've got more space, you can straighten them as we get into the stretch a little further. So we'll all inhale to reach the fingertips up to the sky. As we exhale, chest melts towards those bent legs and as usual, we bring the hands to wherever they feel comfortable. If you feel you've got more space and you don't lose that connection with the chest and the thighs, you can fold as you straighten the legs out, but there's no pressure to do that. We can keep those knees bent and if you have any cushions or blankets handy, you can always put them underneath the bent knees just as a little bit of support. Take a deep breath in. Exhale completely, thinking about softening and relaxing with the exhale. Taking a few moments just to unwind and relax knowing you've got nothing else to do right now but this. We'll take another deep breath in together. Exhaling to relax as much as you can into this forward fold. And inhaling, gently keep the head heavy as we start to unwind and lift the chest away from the legs, keeping the head as the last thing to lift. Rolling all the way up vertebra by, by vertebra and lifting the chest, head comes up last. If you had your eyes closed, you might gently blink them open. And we're gonna return back to the seated position that we started our practice in. Allowing the legs to cross if that feels comfortable or find another position that feels better for you. Take a moment to lift the shoulders all the way up to the ears, really shrugging them up. And as we exhale, we'll soften the shoulders down. 
You might like to bring the palms together at the heart space. If you have joined me for each of my five days of fundamental yoga practice, then congratulations for having taken that time out of your week to practice yoga and get back to the basics and enjoy what yoga is all about. And if this is the first of those classes that you've come across, then I hope you've enjoyed unwinding and relaxing with me. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope to see you in another class very, very soon. Namaste.